Okay, so we are not in luck at all tonight. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, very early, it's around uh, three o'clock in the morning now. I've come out with Martijn to shoot the Milky Way core again at these historical Dutch monuments. So uh, let's see how we do. So, as I've told you, we have come to some uh, classic Dutch monuments. These uh, stone monuments are called uh, Hunebedden in Dutch, or Dolmen in English, I think uh, they are called. These are uh, yeah, old grave tombs and uh, thought uh, to be built about 5,000 years ago, uh, 3,500 before Christ. Um, yeah, so they buried people here. Um, they are called Hunebedden because they uh, thought until a couple of centuries ago that uh, giant, giant people called the Hunen built these things because they yeah, couldn't uh, understand how they uh, put those stones here, but hey, they did. Um, yeah, furthermore, I think these will make uh, beautiful compositions, uh, although it is a bit tricky. Uh, I've shot two compositions here at this Hunebed, uh, a little bit closer so that uh, you really emphasize the uh, stone structures. Also a little bit more back so that I can include the whole stone structure. Yeah, let's see uh, what comes out best. Uh, time goes faster, much, much faster than uh, anticipated as always. But, um, yeah, uh, there's another Hunebed, so I will uh, check it out. Um, yeah, for the more crystal clear night, uh, the Milky Way core should be rising soon. It's almost four o'clock now. We've been here for about 45 minutes. We could uh, already see Cassiopeia sickness there. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get going. And uh, after I've shot uh, the second uh, composition at the second Hunebed, we will set up the tracker and uh, make some uh, sky shots for it. So uh, beautiful early morning. <laughs> A little bit more about the planning of this evening. Uh, we were uh, planning to shoot the dolmen uh, at this location right here, hoping to catch the Milky Way core rising to the south-southeast, just between the light domes of these two cities. Uh, if we look at Stellarium, we could see that around uh, 3 o'clock the Milky Way slowly starts rising and um, it is really, really important for us to uh, catch the sky shots somewhere between a quarter, uh, a quarter to five until a quarter past five, where the Milky Way has risen to its highest position above the horizon, giving us the most chance of yeah, getting some detail out of this Milky Way. So uh, let's see how we do in the field. Has arrived. Morning. Some people park their cars on the parking place, but not Corne. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have our possible second composition here. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to use this one though. Uh, as you can see, there's a uh, yeah, tree here, which I said. Um, there's also uh, yeah, the uh, Hunebed, the dolmen itself, which doesn't come free of the horizon. So I'm not totally sure. Also the Milky Way uh, will be, the core will be possibly behind these tree line, uh, these trees here. Um, so I'll have to put uh, above a little bit of the Cygnus region or the Great Rift region maybe if I look. Yeah, possibly the Great Rift. Uh, still, it's a beautiful uh, monument here, but uh, I think the first location worked a little bit better. But um, yeah, at the moment it's now uh, a quarter past four, so it's, uh, I think, time to go set up the Star Tracker and uh, make some tracked and stacked sky shots. <laughs> Everything was going pretty well, until we saw a car with familiar reflective stripes on it driving to our position at 4.45, exactly the start of prime galactic core time. Ok, 
Okay, so we are not in luck at all tonight. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, scrambled to another location. It's now, I think, uh, a couple of minutes past five, maybe 10 uh, past five. Uh, it will get light uh, 15 past five. Why are we here? Well, <laughs> we were uh, about 200 meters uh, from the road. Uh, apparently in an area where we shouldn't be after sunset, which is actually pretty often the case in the Netherlands, unfortunately, because almost every dark place in the Netherlands uh, is officially not really allowed, sometimes a little bit, sometimes a little bit not. Uh, but hey, uh, they thought uh, we should get away. I don't think we got a fine, fortunately. But uh, yeah, my tracker is shooting. I didn't even align it just by eye, no laser, one and a half minute shots f2.8 iso 1600 and uh, i think i have one composition from uh, the hunebed from the dolmens corne and martijn are also here also shooting something and uh, <laughs> what a night drove one hour five o'clock in the morning and then getting sent away that's no fun at all but uh, on the other hand we did get tested uh, how good we were at a quick setup and shoot of our uh, of our gear, and uh, I was uh, set up in about a minute, I think. So uh, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> okay, let's go on. Let's go on, boys. So uh, we are past Astro Darkness now. Corne is still shooting because Corne always gets more from his data than everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hey, still uh, looks good, so why not? Yeah, it does, it does. I think we managed to at least salvage our shots. Uh, we're, I think, one kilometer further or something uh, compared to where we shot our foregrounds. Yeah. All in all, uh, yeah, chaotic night, uh, but hey, isn't it always? <laughs> what uh, did you shoot, Martijn? Uh, I shot two compositions, two one comps. 15 millimeter and one at 20. Nice. So I hope it uh, turns out good. And how do your uh, track shots look uh, yeah, here? Quite good, quite good. Did you manage to polar line properly, or? Yeah. You did yeah. with the, with a laser also. No, just uh, without by eye. Just by eye, yeah. and it still looks good. Same goes for me. Stars still look sharp. Just by eye, Polaris is roughly there, and uh, just just go one and a half minute shot. So it's a good learning point. And you also good. Yeah, I got a cool um, foreground with some light, light painting and uh, while I was talking to the police, uh, <laughs> my camera was still running, so I think I got a few, <laughs> a few shots there, but uh, here I got some shots as well, but uh, so yeah, we'll see, but I think it will be okay. Uh, I have to say, I saw at the back of the camera that Corneille's light painting shots really give some good dynamics to the, uh, to the Dolmen monuments. Um, I also had that in mind, but I didn't have time anymore, but hey, shit happens. Uh, anyway, uh, a car is now coming, so uh, I think we'll stop it here. If our shots turn out to be any good, here are our shots. For now, I thank you again for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> what the, the